What's going on, Canes fans? And of course, the Alabama fans as well. I know you guys are going to be here because the game's pretty close. And uh, let's not forget about the FSU fans as well because you guys seem to be uh, more excited for our season than yours. And understandably so with some of the clips and things that I've been seeing from your practices. But anyways, that's another topic for another video another day, okay? So what I wanted to talk about in this short video is does Miami really stand a chance against Alabama? And the reason I want to talk about this is because everywhere online, Facebook, Twitter, no matter where you go, when people talk about Miami versus Alabama, it's just instantly Miami is going to get stomped. It's instantly Miami is taking the loss. Everyone just counts out Miami 100% in this game. So I want to talk about does Miami really actually stand a chance? I'm not talking about will they win or will they lose. I want to get that straight real quick before we dive into this. This isn't yes Miami will win or no they will not win. Yes they will lose. No they will not lose. This is strictly do does Miami stand a chance? Can Miami compete with Alabama? That's what I want to talk about. And if you're wondering where the heck I'm at, I guess I should disclose that before we start talking about this. Uh, I gave myself a little bit of a, a, a break, a little uh, chillaxication. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, you know, it's, it's about to be time to ramp up. It's grind time. Football season's about to start. Uh, so I said, you know what? I'm going to head down to Florida for a little bit and just chill for like a week and hang out, rest, relax, prepare myself physically and mentally so we can be ready for the football season. So this is where I'm at right now, hanging out on the balcony. I'm not going to fully disclose where I'm at right now, but I'm in Florida. I'm on the beach. We're chilling. We're having a good time. Uh, I might be, am I tan? I don't know. Maybe I'm tan or maybe I'm red. I don't know. Uh, we've been out on the beach all day. So anyways, let, let's talk about this, okay? So does Miami really stand a chance? Can Miami compete? And I think the, the, the simple, quick answer to that question is yes. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons. Let's talk about them. Uh, Miami can compete because we have so many starters returning, both offensively and defensively. So we have a lot of guys on our squad that are going to bring a lot of experience to this game, and th this isn't too big of a stage for a lot of the guys on our squad, right? Now, we're hoping that some of the young guys are going to get some snaps, and that's one thing that I would be a little bit worried about. So personally, I've been very vocal talking about how I'm so excited, especially with our wide receivers, some of the young guys that are coming in, but it, that is going to be a little bit of a question mark for us, is if they can come out and compete on such a big stage, assuming they get playtime game one, because we all know how Manny typically favors seniority, and you know, this year Miami fans are like, no, he's not going to do that, he's going to, he's going to let everybody play, right, with some of these new coaches, there's no way they're going to let that happen, we're going to have to see, but I do see how it could potentially make sense as long as they look good pregame and they've been performing in practice and they don't come out dropping balls, why Manny would be playing some of the veteran guys because it's such a big stage. Uh, but like I said, we, we have a lot of returning guys offensively and defensively, and Alabama does have some question marks primarily on offense. Uh, defensively, I'm a little bit scared of that unit for Alabama. Uh, defensively, they are going to be mean, and it's, it's going to be a really – Honestly, cool thing to watch with our offense going up against their defense and then to see if our defense can actually come in and make some plays because Manny's going to be calling the defense, right? And that's my point number two on why, my, on why Miami can actually compete in this game is Manny's coming in and calling the defense. It's very aggressive, and that could benefit us greatly against Alabama, especially if we can rattle uh, Bryce Young early on in the game. You know, this is a big stage for him. I'm not, Obviously, I think he's going to be a good quarterback, uh, but with Manny calling the plays, I do think that's a big deal. And, you know, we, we've we had some holes that need to be filled. We've got some question marks at linebacker, and, you know, we don't know how that defensive unit is going to compete and how well they're going to do. But uh, Manny calling the defense, I think, is a big factor. Uh, another reason why I think we can compete is the fact that it is game number one. Usually, I hate that situation. I'm like, hey, I'd rather face Alabama like week three or week four. That way, we've had time for everything to gel and mesh, and you know, we've had time to work out the kinks. You know, and everybody's ready to rock. But I think that playing them game one is a huge advantage for us. 
Uh, because again, Alabama is more in the situation where they're trying to figure some things out. They have a ton of new coaches on their staff. Uh, so they're trying to get everything figured out. We're going into year two under Rhett Lashley's offense. At this point, we will have had a full offseason, not a COVID offseason, uh, with the offense and the defense. So we can kind of get that playbook in. Uh, it's not been Zoom calls and silly stuff like that. Everybody's actually been at practice, you know, building that chemistry. So it's huge. I, I think that that benefits us greatly to go against Alabama game number one. That's huge for us. So that's another reason why I think that we can compete. And by the way, I want you guys to let me know your honest opinions down in the comment section. I want you to tell me, do you think, can, can Miami realistically compete? And like I said, don't tell me, don't pop down in there and tell me Miami's going to win, Miami's going to lose. I just want to know if you think that they can compete. That's what we're talking about. And if you think that this conversation is silly, just remember that there are people, Alabama fans, uh, opposing teams fans, Miami fans that think we literally can't. There are people that think that Alabama is going to blow us out 65-7. to 7. Crazy stuff like that, right? And, and I'm not making my official prediction right now, by the way. I'm not deciding if I think we're going to win or we're going to lose right now. That, that will be decided next week in my preview video. So I'm not going to say that right now. Um, in my preseason video, I predicted a loss. You got to remember that uh, I have to set my Canes pride aside when I do my preview videos. But anything can change game week. So there are a lot of things, though, if we want to talk about some negatives, if you look at Alabama's past, look, look at their record with their opening games. Do you want to know the last time Alabama lost their season opener? 2001, if I'm not mistaken. 20 years ago. 20 years ago is the last time Alabama lost their season opener. I think it was against like UCLA, and that was a, a totally different coach. That wasn't even Nick Saban. Uh, and they barely lost it, if I remember correctly. Uh, under Nick Saban, they have never lost a season opener. And it's not all been cupcakes. A lot of them have been, but not all of them. If you look at Miami, look at when we've faced big SEC opponents, right? We talked a ton of smack against LSU. We lost. We talked a ton of smack against the Gators. We lost. So uh, ugh, that's really unfortunate when you think about that. And I know that the past, our history doesn't decide what happens now necessarily so we can't let that the team can't let that bother them mentally yeah, Alabama's not uh, unbeatable uh, they're not invincible it's just the lining up against a, a, another human being right you just need to have put in the work and and play your heart out every snap and we can beat those beat those guys we don't need to be intimidated by them but I'm just saying that in the past uh, we've not really proven that we can come out on a season opening game against a big highly ranked opponent and beat them we just haven't done that and alabama typically does take care of business so that's very scary uh, i honestly think that you know alabama's coming in ranked number one in the country i think that us with, with them giving miami number 14 i'm gonna be real with you that's very generous and this is coming from a miami fan i i think maybe at best we're 25 but I think we're more like maybe 28 or 30 and you guys aren't going to want to hear that but I think they ranked us at four, it's 14 or 16 right I think it's 14 uh, I think they did that for the TV ratings and yes that stuff does actually happen sometimes but I think that's why they did it. I don't think we deserve to be at 14 yeah we're returning a lot of starters and this and that and you know they're, everyone's hype on Derek King myself included but I don't, I don't know that we deserve to be at 14 uh, so I hope that doesn't go to our head. But I, I do think, I, I need to wrap this up. This is just supposed to be a short video. I, I mentioned three or four reasons why I think we, we can compete. Uh, let me know yours down in the comment section. Like I said, I'm not saying if we can win or lose, but I think that we, we can compete against Alabama. We have to come out. There, helicopter. Again, I, I'm at the beach, okay? There's a helicopter flying by. Uh, we have to come out. And we have to know that we can hang with those guys. So we really a key is we have to take advantage of every single opportunity. And you're gonna you're gonna come in the comment section. You're gonna tell me, Coop. Of course, that's how you win any game, right? But we really, bro, listen to me. We really have to capitalize on every single opportunity. I'm talking even the small ones. So we there, there's a muff pump. We gotta fall on it and get the turnover we get the turnover 
We have to put points on the board, even if it's three. I prefer seven, but even if it's three, turnovers have to equal points. Every single point will count in this game, and we can't go down early. We, we, we can't be spotting Alabama, you know, we can't go down 21 to nothing, 21 to three in the first corner. None of that nonsense. Let's not dig ourselves a hole. We do not need to beat ourselves because Alabama is gonna be a handful enough. So we don't need to pile our own stuff on top of ourselves as well. But I do, I do think that Miami can compete, and if we were going to compete, Week one is the time that we're going to be able to do it. Honestly, my mindset would be a little bit different if we were playing week three or four because I would feel like, again, my Alabama would have had more time to prepare for us. So they don't know exactly what to expect. They're going to try to contain the Eric King, right, and the, the, the normal stuff. But I think that Rhett Lashley can, uh, can dial up some stuff that might surprise Alabama and that's my final point if you made it all the way to the end I appreciate you my final point and why I think we can compete is Rhett Lashley if you remember Rhett Lashley I'm pretty sure when he was at Auburn um, they put up 30 30 plus points on Alabama multiple times did they not correct me if I'm wrong I met you know I'm getting old maybe my memory's bad but 30 maybe 40 points at one point and there were games where uh, they lost against Alabama with Rhett Lashley as the OC. I get it. Uh, but that's when kind of Auburn was starting kind of a, a downward spiral. They lost a lot of talent and stuff. Uh, and we, we have more talent than that Auburn squad whenever they lost to Alabama at the time. So, you know, we, we have a ton of weapons. I'm not just trying to hype y'all up, but I'm telling you we can compete. And Rhett Lashley is my final reason on why I think that we absolutely can make this a game and hang and compete with the big, bad Alabama Crimson Tide. I hope that you guys like the thumbnail. Um, it, if you didn't notice it, click out of the video and then look on there. Uh, I, down in the sand, I don't know if that was just a natural formation that formed. I just walked down there and it, it was there. I, I don't really know what's up with that. But uh, man, I'm so excited. I'll be in Atlanta for the game, rocking my We Ain't Scared of You shirt. Um, Appreciate all you guys that got one. Welcome to the exclusive club. I'll be looking for you guys at the game. And, I, man, bro, I can't wait. Just college football in general is almost here. Miami Hurricanes football is back. And we're going to be in Atlanta tailgating, having a blast, and getting ready for the game, man. I, I get goosebumps every time I think about it, bro. So, uh, man, I, I don't have a free hand. So, I here, let's, let's set you guys somewhere. Remember, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in Atlanta, and I'll see you next week. We got some big videos coming up. My Alabama diss track is coming out. It's going to be a good time. I'll see you guys soon.